Hello, hello, I'm Ruby Burrito, and welcome! We are going to be doing an account overview and tour today. So, first things first, I'm going to just uh, go over the character select. Um, so, you can see I've got my Ruby Burrito Char Herald here, uh, representing my personal guild. Um, I have been on Dragon Brand. You can see down here I've been on Dragon Brand since the game came out. So it really only matters for World v. World. Beyond that, I have 19 characters. Right now I have three level 21s here that are in a jumping puzzle in Lion's Arch to get uh, silver doubloons. I have another character that I had been going through story on to make content. Uh, I have just about everything represented. I have all, obviously, I have all five races. You can see I've got Silvari, Asura, Silvari, Morasura, Char, Norn, Human. So, we've got everything. I've got mostly male characters. I identify as a male. I have two female characters. Uh, Rubby Burrito and Ruby Burrito with one R. Because, you know, real, uh, re real, uh, creative with the names over here so uh we've got master rank of 447 that is what it looks like right now if you have everything but raid masteries pvp rank 49 uh i'm tiger and world v world rank 461 i have 21,817 achievement points i don't really know how that stacks up i do know that the world v rank world v world rank maxes out at 10,000 and I want to say PvP rank maxes out at uh 100 let me look that up Guild Wars 2 wiki I will be using efficiency today uh to show different parts of my account PvP rank um, so I'm actually going to log into Ruby Burrito and I'm going to take myself to, uh, actually it, it looks like it maxes out at 80. 80 plus is when you get the dragon. Um, this is the daily login items. You can never I do have, have too much treasure. I'm going to take us to, uh, we'll go to the Black Citadel just for the point of the, uh, the purpose of going to the home instance, um. And that's actually where I'm going to start the account tour. Uh, I'm going to bring over... I'm going to take us into the home instance here. And then I'm going to bring over efficiency. And we'll go from there. Before we get too far into this video, I just want to say thank you for watching. And if you have been enjoying my videos, uh, if you want to support me, which I would very much appreciate it, uh, feel free to drop a like, subscribe, or comment. Uh, thank you again for watching, and we'll jump right back into the video. So, I have almost everything in my home instance. You can see over here... Oh, my goodness, I cannot move properly. I've got all three garden plots. I have almost every single node. I have all of the requisition teams over here at the requisition post. The one thing that I am missing, you can see here, let's bring this over, is the tre enchanted treasure chest. Everything else I have. That's why this is grayed out. So from a home node standpoint, I've got almost everything. That was a project of mine for quite some time. I actually started on the home cats. I've got 40% of them, nothing too crazy. Uh, I will get back to them once i'm done with my current project we'll go through the rest of these actually in reverse order novelties i've got a handful but again haven't really tried for those gliders i've unlocked them as i've gone but there's a ton of them in the game now there's 114 16 feels like a lot already my favorite of which is going to be the griffin hatchling glider that is what i have on ruby burrito currently so if you've watched my content you will see me use it because i love it uh, finishers, I have even less. I've got the Mordrum Rabbit from the reward track. I've got... I don't have the permanent Mad King finisher. I have 377 individual ones. Same with the permanent Scarecrow finisher. 
birthday finisher came for free basic finisher is automatic and then these are just for pvp so again haven't been working on that too much outfits actually one of the rarest items that i have on my account is one of these outfits so for a time the black lion statuettes actually gave you could use black lion statuettes to get some of these uh what are they what are these under the the clothing outfits specifically so all of these outfits are named something in particular but you have the clothing outfits here and so they're very expensive but i did not pay 1300 dollars for the designer hoodie clothing outfit mail carriers again i just have uh, the two basic ones here i haven't even bought the 25 and 43 silver ones pvp heroes i haven't gone for i have a fair bit of recipes but only 18 percent that's another one of my goals dies i have actually quite a few i'm up to 87 if i go to locked uh, there's only 81 dies i don't have the cheapest of which is for gold the most expensive die i have is permafrost at 96 gold uh, mounts i have a lot of mount skins I love the mount skins. They're very fun. Um, I can go into the rarest items that I have. My current favorite mount skin, if I had to pick one, would probably be the Synergetic Sky Cyber Scale because of how much I use Sky Scale. But just from the standpoint of addition to the game, probably the Synergetic Hoverbike. So this is a Skimmer skin that has special sound effects and stuff i mean the magnificent hummingbird is up there too but the sound effects that you get with the hover bike are pretty dang cool miniatures i also haven't really gone for wardrobe that's going to be the next project of mine which i'll get into once i get over to stats i only have two legendaries i crafted the binding of ipos in like 20 2018 maybe and then exordium in 2019 right when it came out other than that i don't have a single one this is going to change quite a bit once i craft all of the gen 1 legendaries because this will be ticked these will be ticked that'll be ticked this will be ticked this will be ticked i mean most of the more expensive ones if you take out gen 3 most of these more expensive ones all the way up to exordium are gen 1 so pretty excited about that Shared inventory, that's just what I have there. My material storage has gone down. The value is really high, but some of these, I don't agree with how they're valued. Uh, my bank is disgusting. We don't need to go into that. Um, I just mostly have stuff that I've picked up. Down here is all stuff for legendaries for the most part. <clears throat> We've got the uh, dungeon gifts. We have all of the sigils down here, a bunch of crafting materials. I mean... 1300 gold worth of crafting materials that i've amassed 2600 gold over here uh it's taken quite some time wallet really not much that's notable here i'm working on getting my ascended shards of glory and my world v world skirmish claim tickets so that i can eventually get those uh legendary armor sets my volatile magic is now down to 99 that used to be something notable i am highly ranked in war supplies as well but not much going on in there time machine farming achievements pvp i haven't really played a lot of the seasons you can see a lot of just uh, bronze zeros in here that's why i'm still only level 49 nothing about the guilds characters by order by playtime warrior of death has my most deaths not the highest deaths per hour but also 936 hours of of playtime so that's my number one savar is my human guardian that is number two and now ruby burrito my herald is is getting up there we're, we're getting close to putting him into second so um i do love this character i love all my characters necromancer is very fun to play ruby burrito is my iconic hopefully iconic character i'd like it eventually to be the, the one that i'm remembered for because that's my literally the name that i have for my channel uh, my least played character 
is going to be the one for story that I only have an hour and a half on. But then you got the level 21s. I literally just log in and, and collect them. And I have for a year and eight months for these. So if we go to the overview, there's not a whole lot here that I really want to get into. But the, the stats here, um, a bunch of cubs account value right here. December 27th at 9 a.m., 33.822 to 35.587 that night. That was the video where I used 1 million volatile magic. That is additionally some mystic clovers. So I'm going to go to the unlock statistics, actually, and just kind of show the the way that i like to look at my account is is this section so if i go to unlocked and i flip this the rarest achievement that i have is perfect fit and then wins favorite patron so this is the war claw this is sitting in every chair or in a certain amount of chairs for the war claw and then this is just paying gold so uh not the craziest achievement there but if we go to locked this is what bothers me is all of these achievements where 30 percent of the player base has them and i'm just struggling to get them done that's on my to-do list once i get done with uh my current project so holographic kitten is the least rare kitten that i don't have and the rarest kitten that I do have is the Grumble Cake. Nothing's crazy there. Dyes, however, the rarest die I do have, only two, only 8,000 people have it. It's a 54 gold die, and it is a green lion. Whereas the opposite, Electro Blue. This is actually one of the 32% uh, of the population has it, and I just don't because it's 11 gold, and I was going up from the bottom, and I was never lucky enough to get it. Finishers, they don't have many finishers, so this is not too much to look at. The Revenant comes with the, one of the Heart of Thorns Deluxe. And then the rarest one that I do have is going to be the Mordrum Rabbit. Because that's a PvP reward track. Gliders. The rarest glider I have is the Magic Carpet Glider. That was actually the first one I ever bought. And the least rare that I don't have is... 20% of the population has the Black Feather Wings Glider. Mail Carrier is not very exciting. Um, Mini Devil Dog? I don't actually know anything about it, but it's very cheap, so I could I could pick up a couple of these and start catching up, but uh, the rarest one that I have is going to be the Mini Joko Funko Pop. I have all three of the Funko Pops. So... Actually, the rarest in the game is going to be the lo the PvP Llamas. But once you get out of there, it's going to be the Mini Chalk Lobber. Interesting. Are these guild ones? I think these are guild. Yeah. Guild commendations. That's why they're so rare. Then, after miniatures, we have mounts. The rarest mount that I have is the Sunrise Macaw. Can actually show what that I could show some of these um we'll go back to the glider skin magic carpet glider this is the rarest one that i have mounts the sunrise macaw is a griffin skin here's the griffin we show default dies that's what the sunrise macaw looks like Sometimes I wish I were cut out of these so the Shrine Guardian is the most popular one that I don't have. It's actually one of the most popular, aside from the basic ones. The Canthan Raptor that came in the Deluxe. Oh, I guess the Spooky's up there. I do like the Spooky Notes. Gathering Notes, like I said, I have all of them. Um, the one that I'm missing, only 4,000 people have it. Novelties. Endless Monkey King Tonic is the most popular. Rarest one that I own is going to be the Volcanic Throne. Outfits. Rarest is going to be the Country Lace. This is what I was talking about. 
country lace clothing outfit only not even 2,000 people have it on efficiency and then opposite the I don't actually have the heart of thorns emblem clothing outfit nor do I have the common clothing outfit and then we'll go skins because this is actually the the recipes this takes a while to load so I'm gonna skip the recipes because there's I think there might be even more recipes if not close and I don't want to do this loading twice most common that I don't have. I apparently don't have the gladiator chest plate. That surprises me. If I go to wardrobe, chest, because I, I know that that is a, uh, a heavy armor. Yeah, I don't have the gladiator. Don't have the gladiator chest piece, but 56% of people do. 200,000 people have that one. Um, but if I go to unlocked the rarest that I actually have, only 742 people have the gold lion mace and the onyx lion mace those are cool skins i do like those um i don't think i can weapon it's gonna it's gonna stick me to what i have here however i can show them off at armistice bastion so i do have a, an infinite armistice bastion pass i have Oh, I don't remember how many shared inventory slots that I have. But as you guys saw, if you watched the Volatile Magic video, I don't have very many inventory slots, period. Um, but I do have one, two here for the Copper and Silver Fed Salvage Omatics. Three Infinite uh, vol Glyphs of Volatile Harvesting Tools. My Infinite Armistice Bastion Pass, or my Permanent Armistice Bastion Pass. I like having these up here because it saves me inventory space. And then prototype position rewinder for daily purposes. So if we go to wardrobe and go to one-handed and get rid of all of these, the mace. Here is the gold lion mace. We'll do weapon only. The beautiful, beautiful skin. And then I believe it's the onyx. Yeah. So that's the gold. Move this over so you can see the change. And this is the onyx i love this skin they they came together don't remember it was some some pack that i got <clears throat> titles this is largely tied to achievements um the rarest i have is wind's favorite again and then honorary delacroix that is a post end of dragons achievement for doing a quest or an achievement um title for doing an achievement and then the rare the most common one I have is the Annihilator because I can't ever find the Annihilator or the Demolisher. And then the be all and end all is for getting all four. So, uh, and then Great Jungle Worm Slayer, I'm pretty sure is for beating all three heads. And I can't, I was trying to do Triple Trouble yesterday, but I was unlucky enough to not make it on the map. So, uh, uh, the, the, a couple things here. My account value, not including the gem store, is 35,000. That's not what I want to do. 35,000. Uh, 762 i have nine almost ten thousand in liquid gold and my account value including the gem store is eighty seven thousand. i have spent money on this game i will continue to spend money on this game uh i've been playing for 10 years so i don't think this is too crazy um i apparently have 126 gold in my delivery box but if we go rank here used to have volatile magic up here i was top 200 war supply is 108 as I said, I have almost all the home nodes. Once you come in here, all of these people will have 57. Um, that's gonna be about that's gonna be about it, I would say, from a a tour standpoint. If you guys have any questions, if you have any anything you want to see. Um, I can always do like a screenshot post or if, if there's enough questions if you guys want to see anything in particular I can I can make another video or touch on it and in, in, in another video something along those lines so um, without going through everything and having an hour long oh that was from selling oh yeah I got really lucky the other day and I sold I got Zatuka's recipe in uh the desert highlands and it looks like i sold that's why i had 126 gold in my box so 
That was really cool. Um, like I said, this is a character that I play on largely. I usually use outfits because I miss I'm missing a ton of things here, but I kind of like the way, way this guy looks. And the mount skins that I typically run on, I've got the plush raptor because I love the plush skins. The blazing cuckoo because the cuckoo skins are amazing and I do want the plush cuckoo eventually. As I said, the synergetics hover bike is one of the best skins. I'll actually um, I'll show off that sound while before I'm before I sign off here. I love that. So that's not what I wanted. No, I don't use the add-on to have a wheel for these. I I don't mind changing it like this. Do right click and go. Um, so this is a Synergetics hover bike, and then if I hold space, it's a little hard to hear. Maybe if I, maybe uh, maybe it's an option. Maybe it's player instrument or effects. I'm gonna turn all. I'm gonna turn those up. There you go. Do 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 do. Love that. One of the cooler things that they've added. Um, and I like that I just have handles here that I'm holding on to. Just super cool. And it still has idle animations. So uh, on this character, I run the, actually, I actually don't remember what this one's called, Mystic Elder Vulpine. I do have quite a few Jackal skins. Ceylon Cut was the first one I got. Uh, I've got the Dune Mastiff that I like. Then you've got the Noble Orox and the White Tiger. These are skins from the... Oh, I didn't even see the Kieran skin come in. That's super cool. These are skins for the... Uh, Gant the New Year. Uh, I like I like picking these up. I think they look really good. So, got some good skins there. And then the only skin I have for the Roller Beetle is this one. I do want to pick up the Tremor Armadillo at some point because that looks awesome. All of these are just kind of variations on roller beetles, but you have the armadillo, armad armadillo, armadillo, and synergetic gyrocycle. I picked up some of these. I have a striped grimalkin, and these from that. But I also ended up with the tiger soul nyan. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Love that one. Uh, I typically run plush griffin because it's adorable. I like the darker colors with that. But the Grand Lion is the first one I got here. And if you can see the, the motion blur a little bit on its wings, that one looks really good. Um, on this one, I've been running Heavenly Thunder Noble. But I also have Shimmer Wing. This was the first one that they released for this, for the Sky Scale. So, of course, I picked it up. And then the Synergetic Sky Cyber Scale also super cool i turned up the sound so if that's really loud i apologize i mean look at that the sound of the animation and it has like a a machine sounding flap and then when you drop super cool Additionally, just as cool was when they added the Dark Monarch. I mean, that's pretty cool. And then when you drop down and do your flame ring, it's it's like a poison ring. Pretty sure it still does fire damage, but or burning, but still super cool. So, um, I also have the Heavenly Thunder Noble and Hundred Petals Noble, Gant the Noble, and then a couple others that I've picked up. Finally, I had I had all of them until they added the Crested Dragon, Glacial Turtle, and the Plush Siege that I'm trying to convince myself that I don't need to buy yet. Because it's a $20 skin. So, um, yeah, that's definitely where I'm going to leave it now. Um, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. If you have any comparisons you want to make, any questions, thoughts, let me know how many account points or achievement points you guys have. 
let me know what your favorite uh, what your favorite skin is. Tell me if I really think I should get the the plush siege turtle. Maybe I can convince my fiance that I need to get it. Um, not that she's gonna stop me, but it's more just me trying to tell myself that I don't need to spend the twenty dollars. But uh, yeah, let me know what, what your rarest item that you have, your rarest title. I, I'd love to hear what you guys have. Um, those of, those of you who've been who've been watching. Um, and then again, like I said, if you want to hear anything that I ha that I have, and see anything else in the account, I'd love to share. But uh, that'll be it for today. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next one.